Hello, everybody. This is going to be a longish demo on how to get going on the image filter extension. Um, after you've cloned your repo, you'll find inside the source folder a package for each of the extensions, including image filter. And uh, this is a brand new repo. So if I run the uh, test suite, you will not be surprised uh, to discover if I run it as a JUnit test, it's going to fail all the tests. Uh, there isn't, aren't a lot of tests here. Um, but it fails all of them. And not unsurprisingly, uh, it fails them because uh, it's not yet implemented. Uh, so like if we go here to this uh, extension, these are the where you're going to fill in uh, creating the classes that you're going to uh, make for this assignment, each of which will implement this pixel filter interface, which I can tunnel in here. And you can see um, that simply has one uh, method on it you have to build to apply uh, to take the source and convert it however you want and turn it into uh, uh, take the hue saturation and value for this source and convert it into the new uh, destination version that will be caught, will be uh, the new image. And so um, if I run the debug app, um, it's not going to fare too much better than the JUnit test because again, we haven't built any of these. You can see the same stack trace is over here. Um, and but if you scroll all the way down, you can see that the one uh, filter that we did provide you, the identity filter, which just copies them over, it doesn't do anything, is working. Um, at any moment uh, for all these uh, things, you can sort of just filter down to what you want to see over here. You can sort of just click on only, or you can add in all of them you want. You can also just look at Professor Citron if you want. Um, but we're going to just uh, play around with this um, identity filter now. And so let's inspect that a little bit. It should be over here. And uh, if I go to pixel filter utils, down at the bottom, you can see the identity one, which is you know just the thing that uh, copies things over. Um, is a class. It's called identity filter, and it implements this pixel filter interface I was talking about before. Um, and it's saying, but I'm a pixel filter, I promise you. And so pixel filter requires that you have this method to apply uh, the source uh, pixel, which is a hue saturation value, um, and returns uh, a new hue saturation and value. So if I come over here, you can see all it's really doing is returning it. Um, and let's tunnel in and check out hue saturation value really quickly. We provide this class for you. Um, it literally just hangs on to uh, these three uh, values, uh, hue, saturation, and value value. Those are all supposed to be between zero and one. Um, and you can get those values out. Uh, there's a two string and a hash code and equals, which you don't have to worry about too much. And we've provided these uh, for uh, the implementation of things like the uh, the debug app uh, so that we can convert it to a color. And you can see that we're um, working hard to make it so that you don't have to worry about going inside or outside of the zero to one range. Um, what you're going to be concerned with is creating new ones and getting the components of the previous or the source image. So let's go to identity filter and just sort of look at it. You can see we aren't really doing anything interesting right now. Let's um, delete all this code and rebuild it. Sounds good. And so uh, let me delete the whole file. Uh, continue. And so uh, that's going to make uh, errors, which uh, makes sense, right? Like somebody, specifically uh, this guy, is trying to uh, use that thing that I just deleted. So let's recreate it. We'll make a new class, and we'll call it identity filter. Okay. And so now. Um, this error over here is like, oh, wait a minute. Um, I can't convert this from an identity filter to a pixel filter, which makes sense. I can control or command click on that to tunnel in. Um, now I have this identity filter that uh, is not a pixel filter. And so how I can indicate that I'm a pixel filter is I can say I implement pixel filter. Implements pixel filter. Okay. So now we're getting there. Um, if I save this, um, now this guy's happy. He's like, all right, that's a pixel filter. But this class is not happy because it's like, hey, I said I was a pixel filter, and I'm not implementing this method. So you can either type this out. I usually just always invoke con content assist. That's control space. If you're on the Mac and control space is uh, shadowed by um, spotlight, uh, go ahead and um, uh, look up on Google how to, how to fix that, because life is too short to uh, to not use uh, content assist. So now I have a working method. Um, it's built this, uh, it's figured out that, oh, I'm pixel filter, I was missing that. Let me do that again. So I hit control space, 
it said, oh, hey, I noticed you're missing this apply method. Would you like me to build it for you? That says like we're overriding. We're, this is us basically implementing the method on pixel filter. And it's supposed to take in a source. And we're going to supposed to return a uh, huge saturation value. As it. Now, if I left it like this, obviously null is not correct. And this would be a correct version, again, of identity filter. So if I come back over here now and run the debug app, you'll see that uh, the other four are still failing. But if I just look at the identity filter, we're back to working. So let's uh, dig in a little bit. What I'm going to do now is let's change what identity filter does. Now, to be extremely clear, this is no longer the identity filter what I'm going to build. But let's just build it to convert it completely to grayscale. OK, so we're going to just take all the uh, vividness out of the image and just produce a gray image. And so what that should look like is like, let's get the old hue. Um, to some degree, we don't really care about this. Anything will do, but uh, it's not a problem to use that hue. We're going to get the old um, bright, uh, val brightness, as it's often called, but we'll call it value because um, that's the model name that we've chosen. Uh, they're both equivalent, HSV and HSV. Um, Source.getValue. And then I want to create a new, let's say, return new HSV with the hue, some saturation, and the value. That's obviously an error, but like we've got to fill this in right now. So what should that be? And I want everyone to uh, pause the video and think about it for a second, what do they think that should be? Um, so if you've played around with the, uh, the pixel, the color fill, the color picker, um, hopefully you've sort of picked up on that, you know, perfectly gray images are, have no saturation at all on them. So let's now run our debug app. And you can see that all these are still filling. But if I click on identity, now it's actually stripping out all of the, the color for um, and all the saturation for this thing and producing a grayscale image. To be clear, this is no longer the identity filter. Uh, we should probably return that back to its original form because we don't want to um, leave it like that. So let's comment this out uh, and say uh, exploring grayscale and just return a source. Now, when I go back here to the debug app, you can see that it is going to uh, still fail for all these. But if I click on this, you can see it's back to its identity filter. Um, one last point uh, really quickly is if we go over here into pixel filter utils, where you're going to be building everything, um, you'll note that each of these you know, identity just copies. It doesn't need to change anything at all. Each of these um, static methods, which you're going to return a new instance of something that is a pixel filter, takes a parameter, right? It's either how much to change hue, saturation, or value, or absolutely slamming the hue to some value. Um, and so when you create your classes, you're going to have to figure out some way to hang on to this uh, data, because you're returning a pixel filter, which will be called over and over again. Its apply method will be called over and over again. Um, for each pixel. And so you need to be able to hang on to that. So just think about how to solve that challenge. And um, hopefully, you'll enjoy this extension. If you run into trouble, um, obviously, reach out to us. Uh, we're here to help.